Hey, how's it going, everybody? Tall Tesla guy here. Today, we're going to dive into uh, the Tesla Model 3 again. I know I've been talking about it a little bit over the past couple of videos, but it's really exciting, especially on the heels of Project Jupiter, Project Highland, all these new potential leaked refreshes, redesigns of the Model 3, what it might happen for them or what it might do for the Model Y. And then also, I wanted to dive into a $27,000 brand new Tesla Model 3 and how you can get it. In fact, you can get it even cheaper than that if you live in one of those cool EV states. But um, we're going to talk about all that, what the refresh might actually mean, and what you get for under 27000 So sit back, relax. You guys are watching The Tall Tesla Guy. So I'm going to start this out with uh, the Model 3. Um, Tesla Model 3 has been around for a long time. It came out in 2018. It was actually Tesla's first sort of foray into the car for everybody. It was the uh, first sedan that they came out with after the uh, Model S, you know, sort of a, a smaller size sedan, you know, family of five, whatever it was. And the idea behind what behind it is it launched at thirty thousand dollars, thirty five thousand dollars when it came out, plus EV credits and incentives and things, and it became it quickly became the best selling Tesla that had ever been produced, surpassing easily the Roadster, the Model S, and the Model X. Now that's not a total surprise because those were at least twice the price of the Model 3, if not 3x. So if you take that into consideration, it's not a surprise that it was a top seller. In fact, it was Tesla's number one seller until they came out with the Model Y, which you see here. And then this became quickly over the over a two year period became the best uh, selling Tesla of all time, moving forward, far surpassing sale goals, all that kind of stuff. Now, what? Why we're excited about it? Why do we even care anymore? The Model Three is similar to what it was back in 2018. People are saying, "Who cares? Why do you care?" Well. What's happening is Tesla's actually doing a refresh of it. Now they call it Project Jupiter, Project Highland, and it is a redesign interior, mostly exterior though. I gotta, gotta warn you on that one. You're probably gonna see it, think it's the same on the inside, but it's gonna have new features, heated seats, cooled seats, ventilated seats, different technology in it maybe. I don't know, maybe a yoke steering wheel. You can't get that now. Stuff like that. And then, the important things are going to be on the outside. It's really designed for full self-driving. It's a little more swoopy on the front. It's more design, more symbolic of, say, the Roadster, old Model S, stuff like that. But it's exciting that they're changing and it's exciting that they're doing it and under $30,000. You can get it. A brand new one. A brand new time. And I checked the website today and it's under $30,000 for this. Now, what you get for your $30,000, in fact, $26,940 is a Tesla Model 3 brand new rear wheel drive five seater, which is what you get normally. It's also going to have full self driving computer asterisks. All of them have that now anyway, but it's going to have all the technology that you get with a brand new Model S Model X. However, it's going to be a Model 3 and it's under 30,000. You're also going to get with this 272 miles of range. Now, 272 miles of range, you might be thinking to yourself, that doesn't seem like a lot. Now, truth be told, that's more than most gas vehicles. Gas vehicles aren't going to have over 300, 300 miles of range across the board. It just doesn't happen. So around 300, 350 is what you're going to find. It's going to be the most of any EV, that's for sure. So 272 miles is going to be more than most of the gas vehicles, most of the traditional gasoline vehicles. However, other than the Model Y, so 272 miles of range. So what you get with it is 272 miles of range. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, that doesn't seem like a lot, or what's the comparison? The majority of gas vehicles don't have 272 miles of range. And I'll tell you that no other EV other than a Tesla has 272 miles of range, unless you get something fancier, like a, uh, a Mach-E that's got the extended long range battery, all that kind of stuff, in which case you can get 320 miles, but you're going to spend upwards of 70,000 for it. So I guess I should say no other EV for $30,000 is going to give you 272 miles of range, 272 miles. And it's a Tesla. You're going to have all of the driving excitement, all of the acceleration, all of the, the comfort and styling of a Tesla. You know, I'm 6'5 and I fit in it great, 
versus some of those sneaker size shoes that you can get from other companies, you're going to have a Tesla and it's going to be $26,940. $26,940. I'll say the 26, 26,940 has a couple of things added to it, right? So currently all Teslas, Model Y, Model, uh, Model Y, Model 3 anyway, qualify for the $7,500 tax credit. Now there's countless videos talking about how you get the credit, what it applies to, that sort of thing. But what you do is you take the, the price of the car, which is 33,940, and you take the $750 or $7,500 off of it. Now I live in a state that offers an EV incentive, which is another $1,000 off, which is great. And now Tesla always includes the gas savings, which is $4,800 in this case. Now, whether or not you spend $4,800, I mean, it, it's probably more than that even. Uh, my gasoline vehicle, way back when gas wasn't as expensive as it is now, I was spending 30 bucks a week in gas at least, so $120 a month, and that was you know, 12 months out of the year. They're talking about four years. Gas right now, down the street from here is 380 a gallon, which is bananas. You might be in a better situation than I am there, but either way, Tesla figures based on your area as an average, they put $4,800 in gas savings, which brings you down to $26,940. $26,940. Now, you can get yourself a long range. If you're saying to yourself, I need the all-wheel drive, I need the dual motor, I want a little bit more range on it, it's going to get you about 330 miles, equivalent to the Model Y. Your after savings, now this is the same calculation where I live in, where I live, getting the $1,000 EV credit, and maybe more or less in your area, because you may have the crazy banana incentives that they have in California, which will save you another 10,000 almost, uh, depending on where you live in California, in which case it brings it down to about 17,000. If that's the case, when you add in all the, all the credits and incentives, it's going to bring you closer to 33,940. So you're going to get a brand new long range, all wheel drive Tesla Model 3 for under $34,000 under $34,000. So if you're saying to yourself, how do I get a brand new car for under $35,000? You get yourself a Tesla all-wheel drive, long range, dual motor, and you add in your EV incentives. And like I said, if you're in California, you're probably gonna save another five, six, seven, eight thousand 8,000 on top of that for all their EV credits that they have. Um, so it is, it is just, it is bananas just to think of it like that, that you can get a brand new Tesla for that price, uh, especially on the heels of Project Jupiter, Project Highland, with all this exciting new stuff coming out, the full self-driving computer, all that stuff. Um, either way, it, it, if it, if I was on the fence, I think I would jump on top of that and, and run with it all the way to the bank. Um, either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is this going to make you, is this going to change your mind on this? Like if you were looking at that, um, I don't know, Kia Soul, and you decided to instead get a Tesla, and you can get one for cheaper than your Kia, like would you do it? Would you take the plunge? Uh, I hope you would. But either way, if not, that's fine. Uh, I really appreciate you watching anyway. I appreciate you tuning in each week. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, week, month so far. You're able to enjoy some of this weather if you have it. Either way, um, maybe you can put, maybe it puts a little bit of a smile on your face. I hope you guys enjoyed tuning in and I hope you're staying safe out there. Thanks for watching, everybody.